Ethiopian Tigis Dasefa smashed the women's record in Berlin, reviving the debate about the role of high-tech shoes in athletic performance. A large pack of the leading contenders ran together through the early stages of the women's race, passing through 5 kilometers in 1558. 13 women were still in contact with the lead as they passed through 10 kilometers in 31, 45. By the time 15 kilometers was reached in 47, 26, Asifa and compatriot Workanesh Edesa had managed to open up a slight gap on Kenya's Sheila Chepkarui and Ethiopia's Senberi Teferi and Zaineba Yimer. The first 12 women were strung out, but still within 15 seconds of one another and all were running inside world record pace. Sensing that most of her rivals were already starting to fade, Asefa took greater command of the race by throwing in a 2.59 split for the 16th kilometer. By the time she reached 17 kilometers, Asefa had dropped Edesa, the last of her opponents, and had just a few male pacemakers for company. Asefa seemed to grow in confidence and pace once she knew she was alone at the front of the pack, and she went on to reach the halfway point in 1 hour, 6 minutes, and 20 seconds, putting her on track to smash the world record by more than a minute. And then she sped up. The next kilometer was covered in 2.48, the fastest of the race up to that point extending her advantage over Edesa and Chepkarui. Asifa's 25-kilometer split of 1 hour, 18 minutes, and 40 seconds was still well inside the world record schedule. Chepkarui and Edesa, now almost a minute behind the leader, had dropped off the pace but were still on course for huge personal bests. Asifa, still looking incredibly relaxed and composed, covered the next 10 kilometers segments in a remarkable 31.02, bringing her to 35 kilometers in one hour, 49 minutes, and 41 seconds. Her 30 kilometer split was one hour, 34 minutes, and 12 seconds, the second fastest mark in history for that checkpoint. She got to 40 kilometers in two hours, five minutes, and 13 seconds, following another 1532 5 km split, putting her on course for a finishing time in the 212 range. Spurred on by the knowledge that the world record was in the bag, Asifa picked up her pace in the closing kilometers and charged through the finish line in 2 hours 11 minutes and 53 seconds. Asifa crossed the line just after men's world record holder Eliud Kipchoge won the men's race for a fifth time in 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 42 seconds. Chep Karui held on to second place in 2 hours, 17 minutes, and 49 seconds, while Tanzania's Magdalena Shauri made a remarkable breakthrough to take third place in 2 hours, 18 minutes, and 41 seconds, a huge national record. It marked her second consecutive Berlin Marathon title, and a time that was 2 minutes and 11 seconds faster than Bridget Koske's previous world record set at the 2019 Chicago Marathon, though it is still subject to the usual ratification procedure according to World Athletics. Asefa came from nowhere to win last year's Berlin Marathon in 2 hours, 15 minutes and 37 seconds, then the third fastest women's time in history. Her lone marathon time before that was 2 hours, 34 minutes and 1 second in a race that she ran while injured. Before that, she ran the 800 meters and was eliminated in the heats at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Her shattering of the women's marathon world record by more than 2 minutes while wearing a pair of Adidas' new Adizero Adios Pro Evo 1, has reignited the debate about the role of super shoes in athletic performance. Asifa has credited her performance to hard work over the past year. However, speaking before the event, she also described her Adizeros as the lightest racing shoe she has ever worn, and said, the feeling of running in them is an incredible experience, like nothing she's felt before. Adidas, meanwhile, claims the shoes are enhanced with unique technology that challenges the boundaries of racing. Adidas claims Adios Pro Evo 1 shoes are 40% lighter than any previous racing super shoe they have created and contain a first-of-its-kind four-foot rocker placed at 60% of the length of the shoe, which is lab-tested to trigger forward momentum and improve running economy. The ultralight Adios Pro Evo 1 is just 138 grams, with a 39mm heel, and uses a new foam midsole with carbon rods. It was the first time the shoes were used in a major race. They just became available to the public today, September 26, 2023. There is, however, the significant catch that they cost 500 and can only be used in a single race before their performance is compromised. 
So let me ask you, do you think the shoes or a Saifa herself contributed mostly to her world record marathon win? 